All right. Let's talk about lesson number one. Lesson number one is everyone and everything is trying to get out. Trying to destroy you. Trying to take you off this planet. Trying to stop your mission. Everything. Even before you were born. This thing was trying to destroy you. It's always there. It's always trying to destroy you. You don't even know. You're just a kid. You run around it. You play around it. You think it's a joke. This thing wants to destroy you as a kid. And it's spread through everything and everyone and everywhere. And anyone can say that you're not crazy. Call me crazy. Hey. But I know what I see and I know what I felt. Nah, you're not crazy. The thing about it is, you got to keep cool and you got to use your brain because you can't punch your way out of this thing. This is something we got to think our way out of. Not shoot or kill or, 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 or anything else like that. It's something we got to think our way out of. And we can do it and you can do it. But just be aware at all times. Lesson number two. No stupidity. Nothing stupid. No fools around you. No doing dumb shit. No drug dealing. Uh, if you're gonna touch some green, that's about it. But don't, don't, don't. It, that the 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 reward does not outweigh the risk. You are a fool if you selling dope, krills, yay anything that's going to get you a felony is a damn the dumbest thing you can do as a young black male there is a target on your back every single day everywhere you're like a buck on the wall they're like hunters after you after a deer to get your antlers every one of you you think you hard with, with, with your little with your, with your extended extended clip on that uh that 40 or that 9 milli Glock, you can't even clear a room with a, with that with a 30 round clip. That's stupid. First off, you don't even know what you're doing, and uh, you're just a buck. You're, you're you're a buck running, and this man is after you to put your antlers on his wall. And this man is crazy. This man has an obsession with you. A lot of people got an obsession with you, but this man has a particular obsession with you, in a weird way where. He wants to end your career. He want to make you hang up your cleats, either uh, in a box one way or another. But on another on another level, the, the sick thing about it, young brother, is uh, he's got a sexual attraction to you. He's got a very very deep sexual attraction to you. I'm telling you, it's crazy. He hates you, but he's attracted to you. It's, it's, it's crazy. You always run into it because they, they always say, say you, you hear him arguing with a woman and they're like, oh, you dated him? Did he have a big, what, what is that the first thing that you ask? Did your ex-black boyfriend have a big, it, it, you see, you see, you got to think about it on that level, man. It's deep. It's deeper than you think. So your life is, is, is always in jeopardy. And the worst thing about it is, it's so crazy, and we've been, your brothers, your peers have been driven so crazy, they are your enemy number one. Them is the ones you gotta watch out for, the fratricide. I think it's around 10,000 black males die every year from murder, shooting each other. That's 10,000 soldiers we're losing every single year because of stupidity. Because of, um, self-hate is what it is. Black males hate each other. They, they hate themselves. And each one of them is a reflection in the mirror, and I'll, I'll kill that nigga. I'll kill him. I'll kill him quick. Fuck that. It, it just walking maniacs, man. Just a mess. Look like they're ratchet mothers. They look like a mess. And, and you might not have had your dad there or whatever, but there's other male figures that you can look up to. I built myself, my pops was in the picture, but I, I built myself off of taking from several men all across the board. Yeah. 
you know, working on a construction site, working in the kitchen, IT, corporate, doing that thing. I've taken from teachers, everything. You keep taking from other men. Just because you didn't have your dad in your life doesn't mean it's all over. You, you, you take from other men regardless, even if he was there. And you build yourself from other men, not just one man, but other men all the way around. But rule, lesson number two, no dumb niggas around you. You can't take it. You can't be on the set with all that all that mess. Because one nigga, the other night, he might have been shooting the other night and then somebody come around the way trying to see you. No, fuck the hood. The hood is going to snitch on you. Look at first 48. Look. The hood is going to snitch on you. It always is. So I can't reiterate it. Don't have no fools around you. No, no niggas that don't want to do nothing. Your, your circle should be no more than like five people. Five dudes at the most. Ten associated, but nah, it, it should be small like a cheerio. No dumb niggas around you. You can't. You got to hang by yourself. You got to hang alone. You, your mans, whatever. You check in a few other, and that's it. You can't be on the club, all the set with all that stupidity with a bunch of young niggas trying to act like they're tough. They're not tough. They're trying to show that they're high. They're, uh, young black males in America today are very effeminate. They've been feminized to uh, an ultra effeminate level. It's bad. And everyone can see it, but nobody wants to mention it. I'm telling you. The niggas on your set, they're small, young, weak niggas. I mean, everybody's little at first, and then we get bigger over time. But they, they want to show their manhood, and it's not there. And they're ready to go to that gun instead of go to their hands. And your man that's right beside you is either going to rob you or snitch on you. So you might have just looked at the niggas that's trying to do something with your life and get around them first. No stupidity, no fools. Lesson number three. You can't have no kids, young brother. You cannot slip up on one of these hoochies, get them pregnant, and then that's child support. That child support is going to rock your paycheck and your pay and have you in jail and all kinds of crazy mess and your kids somewhere else and you paying. You don't know what they're doing or who they with. It's a, don't have no kids. Uh, that's weak. You, you, better, you better put a condom on your joint, yo, bro. Getting getting a hood rat pregnant is the worst thing that could happen to you. One of the worst things that could happen to you. Yeah, you gotta you got your seed, but the, you know you ain't gonna happen to her. Now look, now look, took a big chunk of your friends out. So yeah, no kids, keep it wrapped up, or you are gonna pay for shorty's birth control, whatever. But you you can't have a kid, and if you do, it's all right. Take one, keep it rolling, keep your seed. Uh, no wife and hoochies. No no no, that's a pass and go. She got three inch nails, she got purple hair, she she's a she's a she's a smut, but you trying to wife her cause she looks right now. No, 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 no. No hoochies. Get you a L7, get you a uh, something real nice, whatever. And that's who you are rider with. That thing over there, you just smash and go. Young brothers. Young brothers, I gotta talk to you. I've been skiing through the through the Alps of Sweden. In the hall and uh, fields with the tulips. I've been in the mountains of Italy. Love the mountains of Italy. Y'all have got to watch the swirling. Be careful. Be careful with the swirling. If you're gonna do it, A, do it. But what are you doing it for? You doing it just cause or? If you're feeling, I don't know what you're doing it cause if you think that's better, then why? You gotta look deep at yourself about the why. All women are beautiful. All women from every background are beautiful, but you gotta be careful. Cause we ain't, we ain't free and this ain't, some people get an attitude off of that. And they come to attack you. And she will switch up game on you in a heartbeat. She will switch up on you on a heartbeat. Totally switch that character up. Have you in jail quickly. Be very careful. Know what it is. Keep it moving, smash and pass. Lesson number four, look different, y'all. Please look different. You uh, you can't be looking like everybody else. I ain't saying you gotta look like, look like Steve Urkel or suit and tie every day. I ain't saying all that. But you gotta keep it looking like, this young brother, this is somebody I would give money to. This is somebody I would invest in. You walking around with tattoos all over your face, bro, get out of here. I would never take you to meet the connect. Hey, can you put me on with your old connect? Hey, no, 
no, no, no, no, no, no, no. I wouldn't do that anyway, but definitely no. You got tattoos all over your face. You look a mess, dude. I got tats. You can't see them. You got tats all over your face. Your dreads ain't twisted. You look a mess. You look crazy, man. You look crazy. Like a maniac programmed you. And that's exactly what happened. A maniac programmed you. You look like the rest of these dudes. Hyper effeminate. And like some type of monstrosity, man. You got to blend in in different circles. You might have to look this way one day, that way the other day. You might have to go into the hood. You might have to go to the office. You might have to move in, out, around. Different people's cultures. This is what happens when you, when you rise, when you're coming up, when you're not in the same circles, when you start getting money. Your people are around too, but we'll get to that. Uh, lesson five, see yourself ahead and work backwards. So this is what you want to do. If you, if you dream of dreams, what would you want to do? I want to be a rapper. No, you're not going to be a rapper. You, 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 you're going you're gonna to own a record label and you're going to manage a bunch of rappers. Okay. So see yourself in the future. See yourself five, ten years from now and you're making it. You, you, you just signed a multi-million deal for like 50 mil. And you're coming back with bread. You're putting on all the rappers. You're handling everything. You got a singer. You got all your stuff. You got everything. You got marketing. You got everything handled. Okay, work back. How did you get there? Okay, ten years ago I was doing this. I was living. I was living out of my car. I was living in a project. It was very dangerous. I had to... I had to do some things. I had, to, I had to try to change it. Okay, so boom. That's first off. No more crime. That's that's first off. I'm gonna forget to remember. That's back to lesson two. But how are you gonna grow? So you're gonna need these skills. You're gonna need that, 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 that. You're gonna you're gonna learn how to do it. You can go to school. You can learn a lot of stuff online. But you gotta learn, and you have to start growing towards that step. And then your first business deal, your second business deal. Write it out if you had to. How you got there, but keep going backwards you go backwards 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 and then you're at the beginning where you are and then you start going forward that way all right lesson number six train after that whenever whatever whatever you want to be if you want to be a chemist you want to be a programmer you want whatever you want to do you have to train in it being us who we are what we are the king we got to be twice as good if not three times you got to be the man you got to be one of the best wherever you are, one of the best in the classroom, one of the best in the office, one of the best wherever you are, the best at your skills, and twice as good as the other person. You have to be. Practice, practice, practice. I'm not talking about in the game. I'm talking about practice. Lesson number seven. When you're around these people from the streets to the office and you learn, you take not all of us are from the streets, but you take what you learn from the streets just every day, just walking through. You take the streets and you use that in the office in the corporate world as well. Learn to make people comfortable. You know how it is when it's about to get hot, hot and you got to diffuse a very political situation that might get dangerous very soon. Learn to make people comfortable. It's going to be tough being you. People are going to be attacking you in the corporate world all the time. You ain't just going to go up there and be the, 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 the uh, big willy negro up on, the, up, on the, up on the 21st floor knocking them down. They're going to be mad at you. They're going to try, try to take you out as soon as you walk in the room. Millions of dollars more than you. So much more money than you, but just can't stand you. You got to learn to move. The human, the human aspect, the human aspect. How do people feel? How are they feeling? What's the feeling in the room? Can I change that feeling? How do I change this person? Perception, words, jokes. Speaking about different subjects that they're interested in. Learn the human you already have it from the streets. You just have to connect the two. Be the man. Lesson number eight. Okay, young brother, we have to go for power. The hell with that damn office building and, and being the only Negro up there. The only one in the office. And oh, I'm the, I'm the, some of y'all, some of y'all buffoons and oons. Y'all, y'all want to be the only Negro in the office. And that makes y'all so happy. Hey, we like you. We like Rich. We like Jordan. Hey, Malik, we like him. He's cool. Yeah. Oh, shit. Till something goes wrong and somebody's job's on the line, you, you're the one who messed up. So we have to, when you, you boys that got up there and you weren't these young men and you made it to the next level, you have to break off and we have to go for power. We can't work for IBM forever. We can't work for whoever, General Electric, whatever, forever. 
or in a few or in a skill, we got to go back, we got to open our own or be a part of the team that's going to open their own and do their own. You have to go for power. That means your own company, our own company. It's just what it is. All right. Some of y'all, I hear y'all crying now. Oh, this man, he's being racist. He's being, it ain't about being racist. I don't got time for racism. Hating somebody is, is, is a waste of time. That's why you don't have time to hate people. We don't even got time for that. But this is about power. So we can hire our own and do for self. And you don't want to be in that, that corporate world, making this company millions and millions of dollars and you getting paid less than everybody else. The hell with that. I seen it. I loved it. Nah, 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 nah. We're going for power. That means I'm the owner or the vice president, the CFO, the CTO. We're going for power. We're going to make something happen. Lesson number nine, give back. There's a lot of these cats that get up there and they got their own business and they don't, and they don't give back. Young black man, you're going to need a mentor. I have a mentor. He's 20, 25 years older than me. Millionaire, multi-millionaire. That's who I talk to about business. I have multiple mentors. You know, got one just for this one. I got one I talk to about the ladies. One I talk to about this. One I talk to about that. Have mentors. But as the older one, the mentor, you must give back. You need to raise some of these youngins up. You need to put somebody on. You don't just be selfish and say, oh, that generation they lost. Okay, most of them is lost, but you got to pick up the ones who aren't when you see them and you have to educate them and bring them along. It's going to be hard. You got to be patient, but you got to give back. You got to hire these people. Yeah, pass the power. And lesson number 10, black man. The situation that we are in is so dire. Back to lesson number one. What's lesson number one? Everything is trying to kill you. Now that's either a lie or that's the truth. If it's a lie, you ain't got nothing to worry about it. But if it's the truth, huh, you've got a serious, serious problem then. Everything here is trying to destroy you one way or another. Even your own kind. You have to have a relationship with the creator. I ain't saying you gotta be this, that, religious. It's better to be spiritual, honestly. You have to know God. I wake up to... I try to talk to God every day, even though I'm messing up, you know. But I try to, I try to, I try to talk to God, seriously. You say we're the first man, we gotta be the first man. We gotta talk to God every day. It's too hard. It's too hard. You gotta be a good person, then. You know? And I mean, we passive, this complete opposite. We ain't scared of nothing. But you cannot do this without your creator. Drop that stupidity, that stupid with all them dummy, with all them dummies in the hood. Show them on the block with all them niggas. They're cowards, they're snitches. Trust me, the hardest dude you think is the hardest, he's gonna snitch. I've seen it. A nigga that got bought, he's got two, three murders. You wondering how he keeps getting out. He's snitching. Dude's a snitch. And the police let him raid out. That's the neighborhood you live in. Killers and snitches. People with men, young men with no morals, men with no morals, because they haven't been raised by men. I know we got attacked hard, but you know, we got to, we got to get that. I'm going to be a good person, but I'm definitely, you, you have to have this relationship to God. It's so tight that you got to be a moral person, a sound person. Sometimes you're passive and you let, let stuff go. And other times it's time to defend. It's time to defend myself or defend others. Whether that's just, you know, standing up or keeping a closet for them things. But all of it's 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 still we're we're behind God to be a moral, a right people, and not a fearful or a cowardly people, man. But it's time for you to you to stand up and stop the the, the stupidity and start building yourself, young man. Peace. You gonna make it. <laughs>